Can you guys believe it has been 500 days since Rockstar first referenced Grand Theft Auto 6 and they didn't even call it GTA 6. They just called it the next installment in the Grand Theft Auto series. Yes, 500 days ago, GTA 6's existence was confirmed by Rockstar, promising to share more details when they're ready. They, of course, said with the unprecedented longevity of GTA 5, we know many of you have been asking us about a new entry into the Grand Theft Auto series series with every new project we embark on our goal is always to significantly move beyond what we have previously delivered and we are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the grand theft auto series is well underway we look forward to sharing more as soon as we are ready so please stay tuned to the rockstar newswire for official details on behalf of our entire team we thank you all for your support and cannot wait to step into the future with you so that was five hundred days ago. Can you believe that? And since then, they still have not officially talked about GTA 6, only that the game is in development and that they can't wait to share more soon. They, of course, had to confirm that the leaks were real and that that was early developmental footage of Grand Theft Auto 6. Still not calling it that, so we don't officially have the name. 500 days. It kind of feels like that feels like yesterday, but it also feels like that was five years ago. Time is moving so quickly, yet so slowly at the same time. Man, it really is crazy that that was 500 days ago. And fans are just looking for anything from Rockstar, including one thing they did in Grand Theft Auto Online that I still believe could be connected to Grand Theft Auto 6's reveal. And that is a shirt they actually put in the game. It, it says, Rockstar says, relax. At first, I thought this was a brand new shirt. It's called Rockstar Says Relax Tea, like they've never utilized that design before, and that they were literally telling fans of Grand Theft Auto 6, like, you need to calm down. But it actually turns out that a variant of this shirt has actually been featured in, what do you know? Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, and Vice City Stories. So this is why I feel like this could be even a more direct hint at Grand Theft Auto 6. I think it is going to arrive for Rockstar's anniversary later on this year. But I also do believe there's a good chance because of that Vice City connection that they could end up tying it to Grand Theft Auto 6, which would be pretty cool. And what's also pretty funny is Rockstar made this shirt in real life. I don't know if it's available today where you can purchase it on their Rockstar Games store warehouse, but for a time, it was a shirt that they made in real life. I think it's totally something they should bring back for GTA 6's announcement too. And speaking of Vice City, one person that's dropping a lot of Vice City hints is the rumored and supposed voice actor and motion capture artist for Jason in Grand Theft Auto 6, and that is Brian Zampella. Now, we don't have any official confirmation that it is him, other than a lot of particular similarities. Those similarities include sort of the facial resemblance between both Brian and Jason. We also know that Brian has a relationship with Joe Rubino, who is a Rockstar Games cinematographer. And Joe Rubino has worked on Grand Theft Auto V, Red Dead Redemption 2, and several unannounced games. And they have actually appeared in Instagram live videos together. So there is a strong friendship there and a connection. And Brian Zampella has been doing a lot of cryptic teasing, mentioning Vice City, dressing up as Tommy Versetti, wearing the outfit that Jason wears in the GTA 6 leaks. And I'm not sure if he's trolling or if he's trying to drop cryptic clues. I feel like that would be seriously breaking an NDA that he very well probably had to sign. And even the community is kind of split on whether or not they think Brian Zempella is the real voice actor for Jason. Look at this poll right here. I know it's only about 3,300 fans, but you can see there, 52 to 47 split. That's pretty much right down the middle. So he's actually doing another Instagram Live this Thursday, 9 p.m.-ish. I don't know what to tell you here. Some people are saying that he might be legit, but after watching some of the last snippets from his video, some people just think he's a clown. Others say Jason or not, he's at least making the wait for GTA 6 a little bit less boring. Some people are saying he's just taking advantage of the hype flying around him without telling anything so he can't get caught as a faker or an imposter. Either way, I'll let you guys take a look at it and I'll leave a link to it in the description. Now, one guy that is not an imposter, that is Ned Luke, who we know is the voice actor and motion capture artist of Michael DeSanta. Well, a lot of people are wondering how he was actually found out. 
And the cause of it was social media, which is exactly what Brian Zampella is doing right now. So after the trailer came out, which in case you guys remember, Ned Luke was the narrator playing his character, Michael. He actually had one of his friends, Jimmy Tanaka. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. He actually put two tweets out on social media that he probably shouldn't have put out. He said this, My fellow thespian Ned Luke is the lead voice and profile in the upcoming game by Rockstar Grand Theft Auto V. Way to go, Ned. Holy moly. So that was the first tweet he ended up putting out. And obviously you're like, wait a minute. Ned Luke was never revealed as the voice or the likeness of Michael DeSanta until the game actually came out. And then on that same day, Grand Theft Auto V trailer with Ned Luke, our homie, as the lead. Now, if something like that were to happen today, you might think to yourself, well, that person's just probably chasing some internet clout or they're looking for internet points. How do we know they're real? As you guys can see there, these tweets don't even have a single really like or retweet on them. So it's not like he was gaining any internet fame for this. He was just simply congratulating his friend. Now, we've seen several other instances like that with Brian Zampella. Like for example, I don't know if you guys know who Jared Gordon is. He's actually an MMA fighter. He basically responded to someone saying, my boy Brian Zampella is the main character, Jason. So I don't know what to think here. I feel like this could be right. It could be wrong. This guy is a legit MMA fighter. There's a chance they are really friends and he could just be sort of building up the hype here. But I feel like Rockstar would not let this happen if indeed he was the Grand Theft Auto 6 character, Jason. Because on the flip side, who's ever playing the character of Lucia, they aren't doing anything like this. They're not gallivanting around dressing up in Lucia's iconic outfit or anything like that. I'm assuming they're just kind of laying low, abiding by their NDA, and obviously not posting anything on social media or anything like that that could get them in legal trouble, could get them in a difficult spot with Rockstar. So it's kind of like a, a tale of opposites here. I guess that's the question I could leave for you guys in those comments down below, or if you want to reach out to me on my Facebook page, you can as well. Do you think Brian Zampella is the voice actor and likeness? for Jason in Grand Theft Auto 6, and what do you think of us reaching 500 days since Rockstar first mentioned about it? To give you guys some perspective, that's the same amount of time between the release of GTA 5 and the original heist update. Only guys that were around from the very beginning will remember how long that felt, so it really does feel like this has been a long time Hopefully the wait is going to be not that much longer. But again, let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.